Shanghai, the city I was born in. Since the opening of the port, tremendous changes have taken place in almost every corner. Shanghai today is one of the most prosperous city in the world. So, please follow my lens to explore the past and present of this city. From the perspective of urban planning, to display the traces of Haipai culture and its integration and development with modern civilization. Shikumen originated from the rise of Taiping Heavenly Kingdom in AD 53. The uprising forced the people of Jiangnan to flock to the Shanghai Concession, and the surging population promoted the real estate industry. Therefore, Shikumen came into being. Shikumen Building on the Shimen First Road is a Shikumen community, which in Shanghai is kind of has not been really well developed in Shanghai today. Which is this. Including the harmonious and intimate neighborhood relationships, open doors, and casual laundry. Here you can find the old lifestyle of Shanghai. The Dog Road Street was once also a Shikumen area. But during the large construction, it has completely lost its original appearance. The comparison of these two roads tell us how important early planning is to cultural heritage in urban development. If Shanghai comprehensively just construct or plan a scientific plan during the large-scale urban construction, so the young people in my generation, they may experience a more typical Haipai culture. Shikumen inside Bragorkni on the South Shanxi Road is also a complex building of the Shikumen area. But the residents here are more tenants than native Shanghainese. Perhaps because of this, residents from all over the world make this community more refined. In my mind, this is a figurative reflection of a global village. Diversity brings the impact and the development promotes the integration and forms the core force of the Haipai culture. This is Xin Tiandi, a commercial street built with Shikumen as a prototype. Xin Tiandi retains the shell of the old Shikumen. The exterior is kept the old style intact. While the internal structure is reconstructed and the living environment is changing to a commercial environment with the most fashionable lifestyle. Haipa culture and local culture are perfectly integrated here. In this pure Shikumen street, there are restaurants and bars from all over the world. But the live exuberance of old Shanghai has also disappeared in this bustling city. The protection of historical and cultural buildings and the development of modern economy are moving forward in contradiction. From the perspective of urban planning, this is a model of the integration of historical heritage and modern commercial elements. Maybe every tourist who come to Shanghai will choose to visit the Yu Garden when the first lantern appears. Yu Garden, located in the core area of Shanghai, is not only a beautiful garden of Jiangnan culture, but also the essence of it. Here I can see quaint pavilions and pavilions, and I can also taste the taste of Shanghai. Compared with Xin Tiandi, Yu Garden has a stronger historical atmosphere and less thorough commercialization. In the eyes of urban planners, the history and culture are better inherited by planning. Yu Garden is a representative of the Jiangnan culture in Shanghai, but the Jiangnan culture is not limited to Yu Garden. In the surrounding area of Shanghai, there are many well-deserved ancient towns, and the 
Chibao and Xinjiang I came to daily is one of them. Compared to Yu Garden, I actually prefer to explore these ancient towns because not only the Jiangnan culture are well preserved here, but also the vitality are belongs to here. In Chibao and Xinjiang, you can find drink and entertainment are well preserved and tourism has boosted the economic growth powerfully. However, there are a large number of old residential areas to be renovated on the back of the old street, and the protection and utilization of traditional architectural ecosystems need to be strengthened. Also as tourist areas, from the perspective of urban planning, these ancient towns embody the protection and preservation of traditional regional culture in the typical Jiangnan region. In the afternoon, Daplu Bridge is always a favorite place for photographers, and it's also for me. Whether it is sunrise or sunset, it always surprises me. And here, it is also the place that best reflects the characteristics of the city of Shanghai. On both sides of the Huangpu River are Shanghai's Wanguo Building Complex and the Lu Jiazui Financial Center. The Wai Baidu Bridge connects the two banks of the Suzhou River. And the Pujiang River and the Suzhou River also meet here. It represents the rising status of hypicultural in today's global economy across the river. The historical evolution of hundreds of years is in full view. It should be the most mature area in Shanghai's urban planning. Every time when I walk on the Wai Baidu Bridge, I have the illusion of going through a time tunnel. As a hobby to explore the urban planning, I can see the great changes in Shanghai here. I can also discover the traces of cultural and history that has integrated in Shanghai's development. I'm Jerry, an urban explorer.